Um, hello, everybody. Thanks for joining the um, program induction session for our Bachelor of Arts owner, Social Science uh, with the Full-Time Mo program. Um, I'm Tracy, the program manager of the of this program, and also we have uh, our program leader, Dr. Andrew Tan here. So um, today we are going to go through to introduce our program. Uh, maybe we will um, go through in English um, language. But if later, if you have any question, then you can just feel free to ask in the Q&A session or in the chat room to us like in, in Chinese or English is also okay. Um, for our Bachelor of Arts in you know, Social Science program, um, it is a collaboration program between um, Hong Kong Space and also the Edinburgh Napier University. Um, the first we we will have four part today. The first part, the first part I will introduce the program, and then the second part um, today I have invite two students. They will share their experience of studying this program, and the third part we will have a um, pre record video from the teachers, and the fourth part is the um, Q and A session. So um, first of all, I would like to introduce um, our Edible Napier University. In short, I will say it in Yan Yu to you first. Um, for this program, uh, for, for this university, it is named after the John Napier, um, who is the um, famous uh, mathematics in, in UK. So if you have chance to go to the campus, then you will see his building that um, he lived before in 1515 um, in the university. So, um, you know, um, the ENU is located in Scotland. So if you have chance to go there, you will find that um, it is a very relaxing place, very lovely, and you can enjoy your coffee um, on the street and then um, feel very relaxing. And also you will find a lot of the historical building there. So if you have chance to study there, that would be a good opportunity. So oh, um, for our ENU program, it is an international university that um, is also one of the largest higher education institute in Scotland. Um, ENU is also have a lot of the um, different collaboration with uh, all over the world, like in Hong Kong, China, India, or across the Europe. Um, ENU is also um, in Hong Kong, it's the largest UK provider of higher education. So um, you also see that um, in 2020, um, um, ENU for the um, program of sociology and psychology, it ranked with a top 10 UK modern university in 2020. So um, just uh, before I have introduced and also showed you some pictures about um, the lovely place in Scotland. So um, if you study our program, then you also have a chance to have an on on campus transfer application. So um, you can you can apply for um study in the ENU for a trimester or a full year. So um, then you can have a experience to know more of the learning atmosphere overseas. So um, for our uh, Bachelor of Art of Social Science program, which is a two-year full-time top of degree, um, is also under the School of Applied Social Science. So one of the signature of our program is that um, we that we are being recognized under the qualification framework of QF Level Five, which means um, our program is being qualified, a uh, quality assured, and also level rated by the related department. Um, which means uh, after studying the program, then um, you are being recognized by most of the um, Hong Kong government organization and also your academic level is being recognized. So um, this can help to enhance your competitive powers to find job like in some um, government department or in, in some NGOs. And also another features of our program is that um, it is called Teach by the lecturer from the ENU and also um, some of the le local lecturers in the related discipline um, because um, the first two lectures will be taught by the um, ENU lecturer and the rest of the lecture will 
will be teach by the um, local teachers that they can um, eat um, they can uh, illustrate the theory uh, or explain the theory from the local perspective. Maybe they will use some local cases or local use to uh, further illustrate the theory to let you have a more understanding toward the, the, the theory. And also, yeah, just I have mentioned before, then you can also have the opportunity to study in the UK by applying the on-campus transfer. So uh, maybe you will ask uh, why I need to study a Bachelor of Social Science program. Um, if you are interested to um, work with human or I would like to love to have interaction with people, then I think you got a um, good choice of studying this program. Because um, in our program, studying a, a social science perspective, then you can um, know or um, you can understand a lot of the theory from the sociological perspective and also the psychological perspective then can let you to equip you with the skill like the critical thinking analysis evaluation skills um, from the social perspective this is a very important element that if you want to work with human or um to have other other um work like in the government department, like the um, law enforcement department or some um, NGO or welfare uh, welfare department. And, you know, the value of the social science is a very wide range of the knowledge, which covers like the education attainment and also um, will include the knowledge about the um, study in the culture, um, environmental issue policy, and also will let you have a lot of the um, skills and also knowledge from the social perspective, like um, to identify the issue about the society, and also know some theory on how to um, empower the disadvantaged group. And also, uh, we will cover a lot of the theory on and some courses about the research study toward the uh, uh, mental health or the well-being. So, um, having a uh, honor degree can um, you need to finish to complete a two hundred and forty credit award, and having a bachelor, uh, having a uh, um, honor degree can help to enhance your competitiveness on um getting a good opportunity on job. So um, for the entry requirement to our ENU program, so um, you need to have an associate degree or a high diploma or advanced diploma in um, social science or applied social science with a GPA um, 2.0 or above. And also you need to demonstrate your English ab ability um, like uh, having the IELTS of um, 6.0 6 and also the TOEFL, um, 550. But um, if you um the graduate from Hong Kong State or the HPSFCC, then um, uh, which is taught by the English in media, um, if you got a grade um, grade C or above in English course, then you can have the exemption from the um TOEFL and also the IELTS. So um, if you are uh, the applicants from other qualification related to the social science discipline like um psychology, sociology, or other related courses, then your application will also be considered. So, um, however, if um your um associate degree or your qualification is not related to um society, uh, so sociology, psychology, or related uh, research method, then um you need to have um you need to take some preparatory model in advance before admitting to the ENU program. Um, for the bridging courses like the introduction to sociology, introduction to psychology, and also the introduction to social research method that will be offered by our Hong Kong New Space. So um, for the um, BA of the social science program, uh, originally it is a four year program in UK, but if you um, reach the requirement, then you apply for our program, then you can complete the, the um, uh, bachelor degree 
um, with the recognition um, within a two-year top of degree program. So um, if you uh, reach the entry requirement, then you can directly study to the um, third year, which means the level life in UK, um, um, direct study in the level life um, study. And after two years, then you got a 240 credit and you can be graduate with uh, on the degree. So um, this is the timetable for the full-time mode um, of the admission of um, 200, um, 2023 next year. So you will see that um, having a full-time mode in a program, we have um, two, sem two semester every year. Um, in each semester, you are going to study three courses. Um, you see that um, for it is very flexible time and also um, our courses is covered mostly about the sociology, psychology, and also the research method. Um, you can see that in the final year, the second year, in the first semester, we will um, have some preparatory courses for the owner project. And in the last semester, you need to um, have in your uh, owner project. You can see that the component of the rating of the of the uh, research element in a program is very important. Uh, we have total um, 60 credit on the research. So um, this can help to equip you with the research skills after um, graduate from this program. And it is very important for your job searching and also if you later want to pursue a higher degree like the master degree or doctor degree that can um, help to enhance your research ability. So oh, um for the tuition fee of our ENU program, so um it is around um hundred and twenty thousand um total in two years. So and um, when compare the study fee in Scotland, then you can see that um which is relatively um cheaper than uh, also it's very worth to study, yeah, when you compare to the fee in Scotland. So um, for the full-time student applying our program, then you are also eligible to apply for the Hong Kong government grant and also the no interest loan. Um, if you want further detail, you can check with our website. And also um, our, our IC college and also offer some scholarship and also provide some uh, financial support to the, for the full-time student. So further detail, you can check with our website for, for the scholarship information. Um, now, yeah, I finished my part on introduce the program. So um, now it come to the second part that um, I have invited two um, current students um, Sarah and also Pajoy to share that their um the reason why they choose this program and also their expectation of studying social science and also Sarah will also share her um new college life that will show us some pictures about the the new experience in in this college. So maybe I leave the time to Pajoy first. Okay, hi guys, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, my name is Prabhjot and I'm a current ENU student. So um, I'll start off by sharing uh, why I chose this program. So I feel like social science uh, option offers an opportunity to explore a, a variety of academic disciplines. Like you can choose psychology or even neuroscience if you have a strong science background. And I personally wanted to pursue my career in psychology, either in educational or clinical. So that's why I chose this program. And expectation to study social science are, so obviously there are going to be a lot of theories and research work, but then the lecturers are really helpful. They'll all, they will be ready to help you anytime. And also, uh, there will there is usually a summer study tour, so you, you get to join that as well every summer. And the schedule is quite flexible, even for full time students. So you could do internships or a part time job to expand your skills while studying, so that getting into a master's program will be easier as well. 
And I believe that if you pay attention during lectures and do the required readings and all the work on time, you will do excellent in this course. And as for my study experience with my classmates and lecturers, uh, the lecturers here are really nice. They're always ready to help you. And you get to have access to HKU library and sports facilities, and which is great. And also the Edin Edinburgh Nature University speakers are great as well. And as Tracy mentioned, uh, you get to do a semester overseas in Edinburgh as well, if you feel like it. And uh, the classes are uh, usually quite diverse. So I have classmates from different ethnic backgrounds and we are always ready to help each other. They're really nice and helpful. And the class size is um, going to be smaller than your high school class size, which is a good thing because you'll learn much better in, a, in such, a, such an environment and you'll be more confident as well. And uh, other than that, I feel like if you do well, you can get scholarships, not, from the, not only from the college, but also from EDB. So um, for example, uh, the college provides a, a good academic results scholarship of 10,000. Like if you do well, you will get a scholarship. And also from EDB, the Education Bureau, and you also get to join a lot of different activities organized by the student union if you like socializing or mingling with others. And you get volunteer opportunities from outside school. This way you can expand your personal statement or CV for future studies or future job. And, and you may also join overseas internships through the college to countries like Ireland, Australia, or England which is a really fun experience. So uh, I really hope to see you guys next year in our program. So uh, this is it for my part of the sharing. Thank you. Thank you, Pajoy. And now it's come to Sarah. She's going to share with you about um, the, the um, new college life with some nice pictures. Maybe I should stop sharing the screen now. Oh, no. uh, my name is Sarah. Uh, let me prepare the uh, screen. Okay. Uh, you should be able to see my screen now. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to firstly introduce myself. My name is Sarah. Uh, I am on my very first year with Edinburgh Napier University. Um, this presentation, at least in my perspective, is more of like a very uh, brief understanding of the fun things that happen um, within these past few months. Uh, as a student under HKU Space IC, as well as a, a student of ENU. Um, so I'd like to start off with the whole um, when you first actually join the school itself, they usually try to encourage you to participate in multiple activities just so you can start, you know, meeting new people. And uh, act, um, in, basically, you start uh, being friends with people who aren't even in the same uh, faculty as you. Uh, this is one of the workshops that I participated under uh, HKU Space IC, uh, International College. Um, these flyers are usually everywhere in the campus. Um, if not, you might be able to see it on our uh, website. Um, besides that, there's going to be moments where people walk around and just distribute flyers. And it's not entirely the most interesting photos, but... I'd like to say that this this is one of the, the activities that I got to attend that was really more on the uh, fun side. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on to the next one, uh, Pizza Jam. Uh, Pizza Jam was uh, actually my very first uh, activity that I've actually participated in. Uh, there are, oh, I forgot to mention, there are uh, 
there are entrance fees, uh, participate participation fees are basically what they'll need to use during the actual activity, but they will return it by the end of the activity uh, if you do show up. And these are another, these are a few activities where you get the chance to, you know, meet new people, even people who are, who aren't students, who aren't teachers, basically people who work in, for example, the food and beverage industry. And, and it's just a very fun experience. Um, a few of the people that was in the pizza jam actually was, wasn't from IC as well. So you get to interact with not only students from, students from IC, but as well as the community college. So you get to meet new people and learn about uh, their, their prospects or what they want to do in life. Um, here's a few more pictures that I took. Uh, I'm a very uh, aesthetically inclined person and it, I take a lot of pride and joy in the, uh, the, the aesthetics of uh, certain things. So I really thought that that specific day was very fun for me. So I wanted to make sure that a lot of people knew that I had my very first fun interactive experience with uh, HQ space I see um, and uh, moving on to the student union of uh, HQ space I see so uh, the current uh, student union team uh, as of now is Andromeda and they have been extremely um, encouraging when it comes to certain activities they're one of the most uh, how do I say? They're the most uh, interactive people in the campus. Usually you'll spot them around just chilling and they'll probably invite you to join dinner parties or any form of like activities they're having throughout the day or the good month or throughout the year. Um, but for the meantime, I believe that they might be leaving soon. Um, but that's a story for a different day. Um, but yeah, Andromeda has uh, a lot of activities. They've had uh, OCAP which I believe is not very common within um, universities like ours because uh, com in comparisons to uh, UGC funded universities, we're, we're a lot more smaller, but it doesn't mean that we can, we don't have a chance to experience uh, the, the more entertaining parts of our university life. Uh, so Andromeda usually uh, allows us to get that experience. I'm sorry, the student union allows us to have an experience. Um, and yeah, uh, so for example, like we just a couple of, I think it was somewhere in October where we had like a pizza night. Um, it was very fun. Uh, you get to play games and listen to fun music. Maybe the, uh, the SU president will sing you a song or something. I don't know. It was just, it was very fun. Um, and these are a few of the Instagram accounts that I follow just so I can, you know, keep track of like things because I am a very like I'd like to say that I spend my time a lot on social media um which is why I feel like getting news from social media platforms from our school is a lot more uh useful um at least for someone like me because if I am using social media I'd much rather see it through my social media platforms and uh HKU Space IC has their own Instagram account and you can see what activities they have um, any form of like, you know, announcements or anything. And yeah, um, we, in, as a uh, student representative is in uh, Edinburgh Napier University, it's uh, one of the things that gives me a lot of joy because you get to interact with a lot of uh, people. Uh, well, mostly your classmates. Um, however, like you, you have to be able to keep track of, you know, things that need to be pointed out to so, so that you can, you know, disclose it with your lecturers or anything like that. But as like what my, uh, what Prabhjot said, she said, she says that we're always willing to help each other. And I think that's one of the best things about being in a smaller cat, like smaller class, um, because you get to, you know, help each other out if ever things get too difficult. Um, yeah, that's one of my best memories so far. I feel like I'd need have more months with ENU and IC to be able to share more things but I look before I look forward to seeing new faces uh considering that COVID is slowly leaving us hopefully um but yeah please uh consider okay. thank you Sarah very um, lovely pictures and also show us how's your life um yeah 
uh, like uh, what Sarah said, um, even we are not a UGC, UGC fund program, but still you can enjoy your university life, a uh, full university life that um, join the program that um, the activity is held by the um, student union. So um, if you wish to have a very full university life, then our program is also one of the options. Okay, thanks for Sarah and also Prajai for your sharing. And now it comes to the third part for the um, sharing of the local lecturer, uh, Mr. Anthony Ao. Um, he has um, pre-recorded a video for us. Uh, it takes around um, two to three minutes and to share about the, the um, signature and also the highlight of, the, of this program. Oh, hi. Yo, yes, I see. Oh, see. So, you can go there. Go, uh, at the Red Napier University. Come, I have, uh, I have, uh, how soon go be able to get to the social and cultural landscapes, uh, gong, say, we have my father, they mall, um, or they join your social identities, uh, legal, so you got go, say, we send fun, you come away in Tonga, come, in case of Doha, you say, we hock a four hock, get a say, we four hock, get a what they say, we hock, do you like, say, we hock, you do hold on you eat, I am, come, you do, uh, or they, or you do, 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 有一個很好的英國和香港的團隊加在一起大家也都合作無間那個教學的質素非常高那第二就是大比同學的就是那個那個syllabus那個課程的設計本身也是有理論性的東西也都有非常實務性的東西第三點就是說我們香港這邊也都去補充很多香港的一些 呃，以至到如果你話onish 即是也是有教你們在ENU這個課程有教你們的老師 yeah, um, yeah, um, also, um, for the sharing from the lecturer Anthony, yeah, he mentioned about the um, importance of our own project that uh, we, you will have a one to one supervisor to guide you through the the, um, to complete the honor project. So this will be very helpful and also can um, you can learn a lot of the research skills and also equip you with a better um, uh, research ability, ability um, on doing the honor project and also a uh, facility if you want to pursue a higher degree later. Oh, so, um, yeah. So for some important information, and also um, here is the application procedure. So if you are interested to our program, then don't um, hesitate to submit the form to us. And later on, we will have some interview with you, and then um, we will give you the conditional offer or the offer, um, unconditional offer, that according to your um, uh, requirement and also the, um, if you reach the requirement based on the, the, um, the uh, your, your information. Then um, later on, you will receive uh, information about acceptance fee and also to secure the, the uh, place. Some, there is some important date for you to remind. Um, the application deadline will be end in next year um, on August. And our program will start um, next year uh, in September. So um, if you are still considering or feel interested to our program, 
So um, don't hesitate to contact us. Um, here, we have our program leader, Dr. Andrew Tang, and also me, I'm the program manager of this program. And also we have our um, program administrator, Ms. Shadok Chen. If you have any question about the program, you can just um, call us or email us for, for more information. And also for more information about the program, you can scan the QR code here, then you will find our uh, program web page and you can find more information about the program and also our, our um, contact. So um, we very welcome you to join us. So if you feel interested, then just um, ask us the question or um, feel free to contact us. Okay, now maybe we come to the Q&A session. So if you have any question, you can um, type in the chat room and then to let us know. We will um, answer your question here. So um, if there is no any question or, or yeah, I will give you back the QR code. Um, you can have time to scan or cap screen the QR code and also our contact telephone number. Yeah. Okay. Um, some of you asked, how is the class size? If for the um, our full time program, we target to um, um around 20, 20, 20, 20 students is a maximum target. Like yeah, if um, but the current current one is around um 11, 11. So um, a small class size then you can have more in-depth conversation with our lecturer. Um, just like what Pajoy has shared, um, she say, um, uh, we have a small class size, so you can know more the class may um, very in-depth and also the lecturer will take care of each of you, will remember each of you um, in mind and then they can um, go through the syllabus and also the, the, the courses very in-depth with the small class size. Any other question? Or uh, if um, Dr. Andrew Tan, do you have anything you want to speak or compensate? Okay, uh, thank you, Tracy, and uh, thanks for the student sharing. And let me welcome you uh, to submit an application to us. If you are so say uh, degree uh, final year student or graduate or uh, advanced diploma, high diploma student. Um, uh, let me uh, remind you if you want to submit the application, uh, do it earlier because uh, there may be some of you, you haven't got uh, uh, some background study in psychology, sociology or social research method that uh, you may need that to have some pitching courses. So uh, I will encourage you to submit your application earlier so that if you need these uh, pitching courses, so we can recommend you to take it earlier so that you can be commence your study uh, in the right time in next year, but before September next year. So the, uh, welcome you and encourage you to submit. Uh, hope to see you soon in our class. Okay, um, if there is no any question, then maybe we'll end the uh, induction session here. So um, we hope to see you and also receive your application as soon as, as early as possible so that we can uh, assess your, your information, like what Dr. Tan said. Um, maybe some of you need to take the bridging courses so you can um, study the program on time. So um, thank you for all your attendance in here for the information session today. So hope to see you later. Thank you. Thank you.